my friends welcome back to my 200 3d problems in FreeCAD series today I want to work on exercise 23 uh, exercise 23 is one sketch job and I wanted to take this opportunity to actually introduce something new in this series spreadsheet so because it's an easy job I want to take it easy on on the spreadsheet as well so but I want to introduce spreadsheet in this model so I will be using some value as they are provided in here and some other values from the spreadsheet and it's a it's a one way to actually ease uh, the modeling part into I'm going to say parametric capability in FreeCAD so in in some of the future videos I will I will ease into um, parametric capability in modeling so part of that is actually using a spreadsheet to build a model so that's what I'll be using so I have processed the image and as you can see this is a symmetric model so I want to use the symmetry in my advantage and I want to use this face um, to do the symmetric part and I think part design will be a better candidate for this object to do so so first thing first in part design we have to create a body and under that body we can create a sketch the sketch will be on XY plane because the image is at XY plane and I want to take polyline and start sketching from there right I want to say M M M another M so that's yes that's the one that I want and take it here so just like that so I will be coming back to it so here yeah, this should do. All right. So these two points and this point will be the same, right? Now we build. Okay, take this auto applied constraint off. And now we can make this two here. Okay, so these two would be parallel, right? I think that's given. And then we'll have to apply some constraints. Before I go ahead and apply constraints, I want to introduce the spreadsheet so this is like you know what we did is to recap so far we processed the image and then we started sketching uh, and and in the middle of the sketching once the drawing is done this is the time to apply constraints and that's where the spreadsheet comes in uh, because I want to apply some of this value from the spreadsheet like 214 I want to make it a spreadsheet value so let me close this sketch know that it is not completed there are eight more degrees of freedom to address so let me go ahead and close it now come to spreadsheet so it's a it's a default workbench in there it should be on the list if it is not um, you know uh, from add-on manager you'd have to install it but it should be there the spreadsheet is a new workbench where I want to introduce a new spreadsheet so create spreadsheet it's there it's not under any body so as you can see it's outside the body and that should work fine spreadsheet we created the spreadsheet in here I want to enter some value so let me go ahead and then put this image side by side I want to say this 214 which happens to be the side of the square so it's a square because 214 and 214 all the way around so side of the square 214 I want to take that from a spreadsheet I want to take this this center 
this um, diameter or the radius of the circle from the spreadsheet and lastly I want to take this thickness of the wall from spreadsheet so first of all side square side I'm gonna say square size yeah should do or side and then I want to say I'll rather do it this way and then I want to say circle dia meter right? and then I want to say wall thickness now square side currently it is 214 right and the circle diameter is 100 and then wall thickness is 15 now so that's that was pretty simple like an excel sheet we have used excel sheet in our daily life uh, so it that that part this part is like easy now the next step is pretty specific to FreeCAD in FreeCAD for spreadsheet to work we would have to come and then specify some aliases so in another way we have to place a name the name above that is square size I can understand that any other people can understand that but the, for the software to understand it we would have to place the name in this cell so let me go ahead and then say the same name I'm just gonna say square size know that I have not provided any space in there and that's like you know the alias should not have any space it will be one word so I say it as like capital and capitalized word so and then you hit enter without hitting enter it won't work so say circle dia and then you hit enter and then you'll see it will it will turn to yellow and that's what we want so click on here and say wall thick and hit enter so our spreadsheet is ready we can keep it there right I can keep the spreadsheet there and now let's come back to sketching so this is our basic sketch let's come back to it now let's go ahead and then put some constraints in there the distance between these two will be the spreadsheet value is 214 and I want to come and hit this fx button which means the formula button so if it was an excel I would come and then write my formula in here like that but in FreeCAD doesn't work like that you'd have to click on this button and then it says formula editor all right so here I'm going to say spreadsheet because that's what I want to pull the value in so spreadsheet and then there the dot comes by default if it doesn't like you know you'd have to place it out and then I want to say so the name the alias was square size so I'm gonna say spreadsheet constraint square size so it came in so spreadsheet dot square size and if the formula works the preview will be there so result is 214 I'm going to say okay and the 214 is there but it's kind of like grayed out means that it's pulling the data from a formula and hit OK so there is 214 now I want to show you something so I'm going to say the distance between these two is 15 so look at the this look at this constraint 15 millimeter the color and this 214 millimeter the color um, this kind of like more prominent the formula the the value that that's coming through a formula it's a little grayed out in the red it's still in the red but now I'm, I'm bad with color so just know that it looks different and that the the more prominent it is is the one that we directly provided the kind of like a, a not prominent uh, is the one that's coming from formula 
not necessarily from the spreadsheet but anything that comes from formula works like this so you can see visually you can separate like in the values that's coming directly from the input or like directly from uh, from spreadsheet so we got that one I want to specify the wall thickness right so wall thickness is I'm going to say I'm taking this button this point and this line and then hitting constraint distance not any of the horizontal or vertical distance say constraints distance and again hit formula button and say spreadsheet dot I'm gonna say wall thick all right so that one took care of it and now let's come to this radius of this outer circle so we hit radius and then we go to formula we say spreadsheet dot and circle diameter now diameter is given as 100 but we we have selected the radius so let's go ahead and then divide that by 2 so the 50 is the radius how do we specify the radius of this this circle then it would be easy the wall thickness will, will still be the 5 uh, so the wall thickness is 15 all around so what I'll have to do is I'll have to write the formula to say spreadsheet dot circle diameter okay I'm going to put them in a parenthesis and then say divided by 2 and then minus what we have to minus is the wall thickness so wall again spreadsheet dot wall thickness so that cal so that's a that's a long formula what it does is like you know the outer diameter converts that to radius minus the wall thickness that gives us the inner radius 35 millimeter so that's 35 all right so we got 150 millimeter radius and another 35 now you can see this is solid but this is not this one it is still says it's white means there is something to more to it which is this point is not fixed yet so we'll have to fix that we can do that pretty simple take this point take this line take the distance and say spreadsheet dot wall thickness okay still we got three degrees of freedom but I okay so what happens is like you'll have to make this horizontal there and this line will be equal to this line so we got one more degrees of freedom which is this angle and because it's a it's a square and these two lines are along the corner I am guessing this angle will be 45 degrees yeah that makes sense so that 45 degree won't change you know doesn't matter what it is because it's a square and that comes from the square rule so we got our half sketch built it's fully constrained there now I can verify if the sketch is working by changing this one of these value say I'm gonna say 200 and it updates right away so that's that's what actually spreadsheet does is a spreadsheet allows the user to actually apply multiple values and modify their drawing based on that so we'll come back to it in a minute a bit more but let me go ahead and then rename the sketch rename this sketch as sketch half okay and I want to pull that up so I was working in part design in part design pulling that up is called pad I want to make a pad of 20 millimeter right so there is our pad I'm selecting the pad and hitting mirror 
and now I want to mirror that against this face, against the corner of this square. So I can do that by in the plane I can say vertical axis, horizontal axis and because the plane that I want to mirror against is none of the standard plane I want to go select reference and I want to say I want to select this reference. So this custom face selection as a reference for mirroring this part is not available in part workbench. What I mean by that is like let's go to part and say I want to hide this, bring this back. I want to mirror that against this face. So what I would do is I let's go ahead take the pad and click mirror and here so I can come and select either of the standard planes. I don't have an option actually to select anything other than X, Y, Y, Z or, or X, Z plane. And, and that, that is a limitation on the part workbench. I wish there was a reference line, reference plane, something in here. It's not and because, because of that, for this job, I believe part design is actually a better choice than part. So we got our body. Uh, typically, that's the end of our video. But I wanted to show you what this spreadsheet does. So let's go ahead and then make this wall a little bit thicker. So let's say 25. Oh, that broke our model. How about 16? Yep, that worked. 17 that worked 18 so it will work until it meets here and then it will break so that's the limitation so we can make it 10 yeah we can make it even 2 I mean yeah that works so it was 15 and I can make a bigger square say 250 that makes it bigger we can make it smaller yeah that that works uh, so it was 214 and circle diameter I so again there will be some limitations with the circle diameters but let's go ahead and see how it works 95 working fine 90 how about 80 yeah so it's it's it will keep going until these two points overlaps and then that will break the model that's nothing to do with the spreadsheet that's the limitation of the object so all right that there is that uh, spreadsheet actually provides the parametric capability in FreeCAD uh, where I can actually input values from the spreadsheet and then update the model as I wanted to. So um, I wanted to introduce that in, in this model. There is more to it in spreadsheet and parametric capability. We will work on them uh, whenever we get some chance. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.